During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about your lawn. Should you save your grass clippings? What should you do with those? Should they leave the lawn? Should they stay there? We want to answer that question today. All right, you want your lawn to look great and you think about it, well, I don't want to have all these grass clippings laying out there. I love to bag them and, and have it just look nice and clean. I understand that. I understand that clean look, but you can still get that and leave your lawn clippings out there too by just clipping a little bit more often. Now, if you're a teenager at home <laughs> and you're saying, oh, I'm already mowing the lawn for mom and dad and I don't wanna have to mow it more often, you can. And when those clippings are a little shorter, you're not going to see them as much. Now, here's the reason that you wanna leave those clippings out there. They have a lot of fertility in them. Grass clippings on average have an analysis of about a 4-1-2. So 4% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, 2% potassium. So it's fertilizer. Every time you're clipping those lawns, you're putting that fertility back in your lawn. Here's what we're really saying. If you want to take those grass clippings off the lawn, you've got to somehow replace that fertility that you've just removed. In other words, you're going to need to spend dollars to put that N, P, and K and micronutrients back out there on your lawn. Now, assuming you don't want to spend that money, that should be good incentive for you to figure out some way to get those grass clippings really chewed up, really mulched up so they still look nice and you can leave them out there on the lawn. Now, sometimes it may be a better deal to take those clippings off the lawn. Wait, you just said they've got fertility value and all this. Yes, they do. But sometimes you may have a disease going on in your lawn, like for example, rust. Uh, I know I've seen it before in lawns where you walk through the lawn, your shoes just turn orange because there's rust on the grass blades. Well, in that case, if you've got something like that going on, you wanna clip those grass blades off and save those clippings. You can compost them or, or just haul them away to the landfill but get them off your lawn. That's gonna reduce that disease pressure that's out there. The other time you may consider bagging that up and hauling it away or composting it is if your lawn just gets way too big. Now, you get a couple strategies here. If your lawn, you, you go away on vacation, you come back and it's really, really long, well, you can just set your blades up very high and, and go across and just clip an inch or two off and then come back again and do the same thing. Or you can haul them away and just do it all in one shot. It's up to you but you may consider a couple of options where, yeah, it's not every time I wanna blow those clippings back in my lawn. One last thought I wanna leave you with here is, let's say you're in a really hilly area and those grass clippings can wash down the hill and into a river or a lake. That could be a real problem because again, those lawn clippings have nutrients in them. And if nutrients get into the river, they get into the lake, that could cause an algae bloom. So just be a little bit careful with that. It depends a lot on the situation, but for the most part, when we have flat lawns where there's no risk of those clippings going anywhere, we would highly encourage you leave the clippings on the lawn because that's just free fertilizer for your next grass grow. Well, fortunately, you don't have to deal with our weed of the week in your lawns. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up later in the show.